Uh, good afternoon, everyone. As usual, I will be giving one minute to allow you guys to come in before we start the business of the day. How has your day been going? Those at home working remotely, those in the office, those on break. Hope everything is moving on smoothly. Today is Tuesday, the second day of you know, working days, uh, but the third day of the week. Hope we are all doing well from all our years of life and goodness. Uh, like I said earlier on, I'll be giving just one minute to allow you guys to come in before we start the business of the day. Uh, I think we'll just take it off from here, even as people keep joining us. Uh, good afternoon once again and welcome for those of you that are joining us for the first time. My name is Gagba S. Haya, and I'm a training coordinator with the Temple Small Business Development Center. Uh, the, Tem the Temple Small Business Development Center helps small business start and grow. Uh, we offer free one-on-one -on -one consulting and a variety of low to low cost webinars. Uh, we are part of part of the nationally accredited network of the Small Business Development Center, which has over a thousand network across the United States. We are here this afternoon for a webinar on YouTube business for entrepreneurs. Uh, a copy of the PowerPoint and a link to the recording will be sent to all the attendees. Being a webinar, all the attendees have been muted. However, we always encourage you guys to drop your questions on the Q&A or the chat box. Uh, I will be posting uh, a uh, 30 seconds survey about today's webinar. I'll be posting it now and a few minutes before the end of the webinar. Uh, we at Temple SPDC, your responses is always of paramount importance to us, even as it helps us to improve on the services we provide to you guys at the low cost. Uh, without further ado, please allow me to welcome our wonderful speaker, even as she takes over the floor for the presentation. Cassie, you're welcome. Thanks, Garba. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Um, today, we are talking about YouTube basics for entrepreneurs. We do offer other basic courses for different social media platforms. So if you're interested in one of those, please take a look at our events page because we do have more upcoming. Also, if after this, you're looking for a little more in-depth review or discussion on YouTube or any other social media platform, we do offer one-on-one -on -one consulting services, like Garba mentioned. So please feel free to reach out to us if you're needing some more help or have some more in-depth questions for using a social media platform like YouTube for your business. Now, first I do wanna talk just briefly about um, Temple, like Gart talked about. It's one of the many small business development centers located throughout the country. There are 16 in Pennsylvania. We provide one-on-one -on -one consulting business education programming, workshops, and clinics like this one here that you're attending today. And we have many resources in addition that we can share with you as a small business owner or entrepreneur. We're funded um, by the Small Business Administration, the Department of Community and Economic Development, and Temple University as well. So a little bit about me, my background is, uh, has been working in property management and managing apartment complexes for five years. Then I transitioned into consulting and have worked in consulting for a while now. And now I specialize within consulting on digital marketing, search engine optimization, social media, and pretty much anything that relates to digital marketing. And I am available to help discuss any goals or help you want with your social media if you have questions, as well as some of these webinars. You will see other webinars like this one, not just on YouTube. So if you have questions about digital marketing or social media or search engine optimization or anything about Temple, like our center of excellence or our training programs, just let me know. So our agenda for the day is first, I'll give you an introduction to YouTube and its benefits, uh, how to get started on YouTube, how to use YouTube for your business specifically, um, and then YouTube for marketing purposes. Um, and then we'll end with some next steps and Q&A. But there will also be time throughout the 
um, throughout the presentation. If you have a question that's pertinent to what we're staying on the side on the slides, please go ahead and put your question in the chat because Janice Kreil, my colleague, will be monitoring the chat. So if you have a question that's pertinent to what we're talking through, she will stop me so that we can answer those questions. So please feel free to use the Q&A and chat for those purposes. So what is YouTube? Well, before we can answer that, let's just briefly go over what is social media. Social media is a computer internet based technology that facilitates sharing of ideas and information. There's various platforms like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and others. Um, and those all allow you to virtually network with other individuals and other businesses. Now, what's great about social media for business in particular is that it allows you to share content and information about your business with a very large number of people that you might not have been able to find elsewhere because there are currently over 3 billion social media users on social media today. Also a great thing with social media is the ability to network and form communities based on interest in your business and products or services that you offer. So you can form those communities based around that specific interest in your business or the type of products or services you offer. Now, all these platforms can be managed and run through a computer on your phone or your tablet. Um, YouTube, the social media platform that we'll be talking about today specifically, is just one of these. And we have webinars for other social media platforms several times throughout the year. So if you're interested in another, you can visit our website, which is listed at the end of your presentation and on the slides that you will receive. YouTube is a video sharing platform specifically. You have probably used this before, maybe for watching a video on how to do something, or maybe a funny cat video or a movie trailer. It's used worldwide by 2 billion users, and these users are watching about a billion hours of videos per day. Uh, YouTube is owned by Google currently, and having a YouTube channel with good video content connected back to your website can help to increase your SEO or search engine optimization. Now we could have a whole webinar on what search engine optimization is and its benefits. Um, but for now, just so you know, SEO essentially is having, or I guess um, just for now, so without going too far in depth, um, SEO can really help people find you easier. And if you have a YouTube account, you can even be found even more easier because Google owns YouTube. And so that's another benefit of having a YouTube is it goes hand in hand with Google and their SEO. Uh, businesses that really shine in particular on YouTube would be creative businesses uh, or businesses that have highly visual content. Um, for example, maybe a business that has good how-to content. Um, businesses also use YouTube for other reasons, um, maybe to post daily vlogs, which are video blogs and product reviews. Um, just a few examples of companies that might use this platform are craft stores that are showing how to make a craft, um, maybe home improvement stores or maintenance type um, businesses showing how to do a home repair of some sort. A gear company um, could also be an example. Maybe a gear company is showing a new product feature for their new product and trying to show all the different features of it and how to use it. Um, a wedding videographer um, could be showcasing the work they've done for clients in the past. Um, and um, maybe an SAT prep business with educational videos on common types of SAT problems and how to solve them could be another use. So there's a very wide variety of ways that you can utilize YouTube. YouTube also helps to offer a variety of tools on um, 
<clears throat> on how to on on how to videos and how to publish videos and video editing. Uh, YouTube TV um, can also be another great tool and it allows you to live stream if you're interested in live streaming. Uh, Creator Academy um, also offers free online lessons and courses for you that can help to strengthen your video editing skills and your YouTube skills. Um, it can help you with building and learning how to build your audience and optimize your channel for success. Um, and then another tool, YouTube for Artists, is actually a free service or platform on YouTube, and it's provided by YouTube that allows artists to get the most out of it. Um, and then the last thing that I want to say about YouTube is that it is very mobile and desktop friendly friendly, whereas maybe some platforms like Instagram might be more mobile um, than desktop. YouTube can go both ways and can be very mobile and desktop friendly. So now let's take a look at who's on YouTube and who you can reach with having one. Before you go about creating a business page for any social media platform, it's a good idea to consider who your customers are or who your target market is. Um, and then see, are they on YouTube or are they on that social media platform that you're considering creating a page for? So look at, you know, what are their demographics? Then look at the social media platform and see if that platform has people active on it that fit your customer demographic. So, for example, if my business caters primarily to men ages 40 through 49, then maybe Pinterest isn't the best social media platform that I need to be on because Pinterest primarily demographic, primary demographic is women ages 18 to 40. Now, YouTube is actually very unique in the fact that it spans a very wide demographic. Um, as you can see here from some of these numbers, 78% uh, of males are on YouTube. Also, 58% of women are on YouTube. Um, so people from both genders are on YouTube heavily. Um, people from every age range are on here, um, from teens to retirement age. Um, people from every income level are on YouTube. Every education level are on YouTube. Um, and YouTube is actually the second most popular website because it is the second largest search engine. Um, if you think about how often you go to look something up on the internet, you usually go to Google or YouTube, right? And so that shows that you can reach just about any demographic on here. Um, one other thing um, that's unique is when you look at urban, versus suburban versus rural areas, people in all of those areas also use YouTube. So it is utilized by a very wide demographic of people. Now here's a few more benefits of being on YouTube. Uh, one fact that I really want to drive home is the statistic that every day people are watching a billion hours of videos on YouTube and are generating billions of views. Now, because it's the second largest search engine, tons of people are searching for just about everything that you can think of on YouTube. So like I mentioned earlier, if you think about something that you're trying to find on the internet, you often go to Google to search for it, but you also probably go to YouTube to search for it. Now, here are some of my top benefits of being on YouTube. The first is your target audience is on YouTube. As we just saw from looking at the demographics, they're likely on it and already active on it. Um, second, customers are looking for you or at least looking on there for the type of product or service that you sell, probably because pretty much every category of product or service or information is available on YouTube. For example, um, if I have dog training services, say I run a dog training services company, although someone might not be looking 
for my business in particular, they're probably looking on YouTube for dog training videos. And so there's an opportunity for me to interact with that group of people looking for that. Um, a third thing is that there's much higher engagement on YouTube than other platforms because of the video content. So video content in general is, is going to get you more engagement than pictures or text posts. And because YouTube is made up of completely video content, it does receive a lot more engagement and active users that are on it. Fourth, YouTube gets a better conversion than other platforms. Out of other platforms, YouTube gets more people to buy products and after watching a video. And then lastly, the point I wanna show on this slide is that um, it's very easy to set up. And I will actually show you how to set up your own account and channel here in a little bit. So why choose YouTube? If I didn't already sell you on all of those statistics, here are some more. 68% um, of YouTube users want, that watched a YouTube to help make their purchase decision. So that's a really good stat um, that shows that conversion that I was talking about earlier. Um, YouTube is currently used by 55% of marketers. So it is already widely used by marketers. Um, more than 70% of YouTube's content is watched on mobile devices. So it's very mobile friendly as well. And then YouTube currently reaches more um, 18 to 34 year olds than any other TV network, which if you think of YouTube versus television ads, YouTube, you can actually see how many people are watching your videos, whereas TV, you can't do that. So you can actually track it. So here's an example of what a business page looks like on YouTube. This is our Temple SBDC YouTube page. Um, you can have some very similar things to other platforms. You have a profile picture and a banner image. Um, you can also have a trailer video on the home page if you'd like, but you don't have to. Um, you can segment your videos into different playlists or categories. Now, this is a brief glance um, but of what it might look like, but we'll go into um, this a little bit more in depth and show you how to set it up and everything too. So how to first get started on YouTube. I want to show you essentially how to set up an account. Um, this, is, this video is for those of you who maybe have watched videos on YouTube before, but never actually had an account. If you want to have a YouTube channel and post videos, you do first need to set up an account. Now, if you just want to look at and watch videos, you don't need to have one, um, but let's go ahead and watch this video on how to set up an account and also how to set up a channel. And I'm gonna push play if you are having trouble hearing. Um, Garba, Janice, please let me know if this doesn't work. To get the most out of YouTube, you'll need to sign in with a Google account. And if you want to upload videos, you'll also need to create a YouTube channel. In this video, we'll show you how to get a Google account and use it to sign into YouTube and create a YouTube channel. Keep in mind that a Google account and a YouTube channel are not exactly the same thing. If you have a Google account, you can use it to sign into YouTube to like videos, and subscribe to your favorite creators. When signed in, you'll also get personalized video recommendations based on your activity. Having a YouTube channel lets you upload your own videos and gives you a public presence on YouTube. If you already have a Google account, you can use it to sign into YouTube. Just enter the email address that you would use for other Google products. For example, if you have a Gmail account, use that email address and password when you sign in. If not, you can easily create a Google account directly from YouTube. Start by going to youtube.com or opening the YouTube app. If you're on a computer, click sign in, then click create account. 
From here, you'll be asked to fill in your information. If you're on a mobile device, select the profile picture icon and then tap sign in. You'll see a plus sign, which you can select to add an account. Choose create account from the sign in page. Now that you're signed in, there's a lot you can do. You can like and dislike videos, save videos to watch later, subscribe to your favorite channels, manage your watch history, flag videos that you don't think should be there, and more. The more you watch and interact with videos, the better your recommendations will get. Once you're signed into YouTube, you can also create a YouTube channel. This is how all of your favorite YouTube creators got started, and you can too. To get started, try any action that requires a channel, such as uploading a video, posting a comment, or creating a playlist. If you don't have a channel yet, you'll see a prompt to create one. And who knows, you might be the next big YouTube star. If you'd like to learn more about getting started on YouTube, check out the links in the description below. And that's it. Subscribe for more YouTube tips and tricks. All right, great. Now we're going to go quickly just to um, the YouTube screen so that I can show you kind of just what it looks like, just very basics. This is YouTube basics. So let me go switch over to that. All righty. Let's switch out of this. All right, so here's YouTube. Just like any other platform, you can search um, for things that you're looking for in the search bar. Um, the home button will bring you back to home. Explore um, this button on the left will segment into categories. So you can search by categories. Um, library down here is where you might see um, some popular um, videos that you have watched currently or you have watched uh, recently and saved maybe. Um, history is all your previous watched videos. Um, and then if you want to, you can actually make, uh, you can make playlists of videos that you wanna save for later. So for example, I made this one for house repairs, for making repairs to a house. So those are some of the basic functionalities of YouTube. And we will get into how to create, um, or you can watch that video on how to, you know, create your channel and create your account, but we'll go back to the PowerPoint slide for now. Give me just one moment to switch back to the PowerPoint. All right, it is not liking me. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now how to create a YouTube channel. Um, how to create, now, now that you want to create a YouTube channel, first you need to sign into your YouTube account like they just showed in the video. And then after that, in the top right-hand corner, after you have signed in, that blue button uh, or that, that uh, sign-in button will now become a drop-down button where you can select create a channel. So you'll select create a channel and you can actually have multiple YouTube channels on one email account if you like. Um, so after you create, click a channel, it will walk you through the process of filling in the information that you need for creating a channel. 
YouTube is very good about walking you through with prompts how to fill out everything that you need. Now, when it asks you to put your name in the channel, make sure that you do something that is identifiable with your business. So don't put your name, um, put your business name or something that's directly related to your business or your brand. Uh, another quick tip here is that you can have multiple managers so that multiple people have access to post videos and make changes on your behalf. For example, maybe you have someone who does social media posting for you. Well, you can give them access here when you get to this point. Now, also, you will want to upload a photo for your profile photo. A good idea for this is to use your logo or maybe a photo of you if you are a solo entrepreneur and you are essentially your business, like a consultant. Um, but whatever it is, it should be something directly connected to your business. Um, for example, if you are a shoe business, consider putting your logo here, not a picture of you with your dog. Um, if you are a solo entrepreneur, like I said, you can use an image of yourself. That's fine. Maybe it's an image of you doing something like if you um, are cooking, then maybe you do a picture of you cooking, but something related to the business. After that, you'll want to add a description of the business. Here you'll want to say what your business is, what you sell. Um, or what you do, um, and then try to end that description with a call to action that leads users into the next step for talking with your business or doing whatever it is to buy something from you or connect with you. So it could be ending with, check us out online with a link to your website, or call us at this number for a free 15 minute consultation of our services. Um, if you do have a website, it is a good idea to put that here because um, it can help to drive more people to your website. Now I want to discuss YouTube Studio. Now YouTube Studio is not a whole different platform. It's just where you go to edit your YouTube channel. So when you see YouTube Studio, don't worry, you're not going to a separate platform or anything like that. It's just where you edit your profile. After you've gone through the steps in the last slide of making your account and channel, now you want to take the next step of customizing it. And you can do that by clicking customize on the left hand side. This is where you can add things like spotlight videos. These are videos um, like the channel trailer that I mentioned earlier in the presentation. It's essentially a video that is highlighted on the main page of your channel. Um, this is also an area in YouTube Studio where you can change basic information like your name, description, your profile picture, or your um, banner image. You can change all those here in YouTube Studio. Here you can also add something called a watermark. A video watermark is essentially a still image that sits on top of your video as it's playing. Uh, this is usually commonly placed at the bottom like right corner of the video and this um, watermark could be something like your brand logo or maybe your website url um, or some other custom item or image that you want to put there um, i've also listed hyperlinks here in the powerpoint which you will receive and these are hyperlinks to videos on how to add a video spotlight and how to add a watermark. So that can walk you through step-by-step step how that works. Um, lastly, something else you can do here is you can customize your URL. So say you have a channel name and the channel name is Bob's Builders and you want the URL um, to not just be a random string of numbers, you'd like it to be custom and say, youtube.com slash Bob's Builders. You can actually do that here as well. So those are some of the things you can do in YouTube Studio. Here's an example of a finished customized channel. Uh, this is a cooking channel. You can see here um, that she's made a banner using multiple pictures, um, not just one to display some of the many things that she creates. 
Um, so in addition to baking, she also cooks and makes drink recipes and a variety of items. So she customized this image and then uploaded it here. Um, Canva is probably um, something she used to do this. So Canva is a great free tool um, where you can easily create images like this for free. Um, Canva can be very helpful, not only for YouTube, but other social media platforms. They have a lot of um, ways that you can make images for any of the social media platforms. Here, she also has an intro video to her, to her channel that's highlighted here. You wanna customize this essentially based on what you want the main takeaway or the look that you want to give your visitors. So maybe um, for Tem Temple University, our SVDC um, YouTube page, uh, we offer free business consulting and resources to small businesses. So our profile and banner image shows our logo with our contact information because the main thing we want is we want you to quickly and easily be able to reach us. So we have our logo with our contact info right there. Um, and then the trailer video showcases the variety of small businesses that we offer and help, or that we offer help to, because we want everyone to know that we offer help to a variety of small businesses across the board. So that's what that trailer video focuses on. Now for her cooking channel in this example, um, she's showcasing many different things that she makes. She doesn't just bake. So in the pictures, she's trying to showcase a variety of items. And then in the intro video, she's talking about her business and ending ends it with a call to action to contact her for more help with recipes. Now looking more at that cooking channel example, here are a few key things that she did in particular to make this channel look good. Um, one, she has relevant and engaging channel art throughout her banner. Um, she also has a good introductory video along with a helpful description. And she has videos that are grouped by sections or categories. So she has some that are grouped maybe by Southern recipes or maybe a group of videos that are grouped under cocktail recipes. And so she's done that here below. And those are called playlists. So now let's talk about YouTube for your business specifically um, and how to use it specifically for your business. There are three different types of video posts that you can make. The first type is the most basic, which is a basic YouTube channel post, which is where you make a video, upload it to your channel, and add it to a playlist if you like. Now there's a YouTube live stream, which is similar to Instagram live that allows you to market beforehand that you're going to do a live video. For example, if I had like a specialty cupcake store and I wanted to announce that I'm going to do a live demonstration video at six to show how to make Christmas tree cupcakes. Um, at six o'clock, I can get on YouTube, do the live video. And then when the live video is over, it switches to a normal video that can be saved on my channel with the other videos. And then lastly, the last type are YouTube shorts. These are um, the most recent um, version and they're used less than the others, um, but they are um, the third kind. Um, these are videos that are less than a minute long. I believe they're in an attempt to compete with like TikTok videos or Instagram stories or Facebook stories. Um, if you are interested in this one, um, I did include a hyperlink at the bottom. It's an in-depth video on YouTube shorts. Um, now, the most common one and the one you'll probably start using is the basic YouTube channel video. It's the easiest one to set up, but there are, all the, there are these other two posting options if you'd like to get some practice on those. Now let's focus on how to do that first one. So how to upload and post a video. The easiest way to upload a video is to go to your channel and click create. 
It will also ask if you want to upload a video, you select yes and upload one from your computer. Now, depending on how long the video is, it may take a minute or a while for the video to upload. So you may just have to wait a few minutes for that to upload. And once it is uploaded, um, you can post, um, but you need to do a few things first before you post. Um, it'll ask you to a few more steps. Um, so you'll need to add a title and a description to the video. And what you want to do with these is you want to make the title and description something that people might search for in the search bar of YouTube. For example, if I'm trying to get people to watch my video on how to make a wedding cake, I should put in the title something I think people would search for, like how to make a three-tier wedding cake. Um, this video then will probably show up in search results for when people type in a number of things like how to make a three-tier cake, how to make a wedding cake, or how to make a three-tier wedding cake. Any of those things that people type in, it will probably show my video because the keywords are similar um, to what is in the video. Now, it's also good to include some of these keywords in the description as well. Having the main keywords of what your video is about throughout your title and description can help YouTube to make it easier and more likely for users to find your videos. So make sure you include a decent description and a good title. Now you'll also want to edit your thumbnail. A thumbnail is a snapshot of a point in the video that you want to reflect what you will be discussing or showcasing in the video. So you can choose what point in the video you want to show up in the thumbnail. For example, if you're maybe going to be showing how to make an apple pie, then in the thumbnail, you would want um, to highlight a point in the video that shows the apple pie, not just you talking, but maybe the point when the, the camera goes on the apple pie. That's the point that you want to be your thumbnail to showcase to user, to visitors looking through videos. Now you want this thumbnail to be engaging because it's what people see when they're scrolling through videos and deciding which one to watch. Um, so you wanna to try to have a good snapshot, maybe not one where you're in the middle of talking and your mouth is halfway open or maybe in a point in the video where the video is blurry, you wouldn't want that to be the thumbnail, right? You want it to be a good picture or a good point in the video. Now, if you don't have any that you like in the video, you can also upload like an image for your thumbnail if you don't like any of the snapshots in the video. Now you can also, when you upload this video, you can add it to a playlist. So for example, if you were uploading a video on how to make apple pie, maybe you'd wanna put that in your playlist on desserts. If you're cooking, channel, maybe you had a dessert playlist, you could add it there then. Now, again, if you don't have to always add it to a playlist, it can just be a general video that's not listed in a playlist. Um, but if you want to, this is also where you can do it. Now, lastly, when you get to the audience section at the end, it'll ask you a couple questions. Um, it will ask you if the video is for kids or not. She checked no here for the cake video because a child's probably not interested in creating a three-tier wedding cake. Um, after that, it will ask you to if you want to add any age restrictions. Now, you'll probably not need to ever use this, um, but for example, if you're uploading a video that maybe had some profanity in it or maybe an explicit song, um, then you might want to add an age restriction here. Uh, Cassie, can yeah. I interrupt for a moment? Yeah, of course. I had a couple of questions and I think they're pertinent for right where you are. Perfect. So we have one question that says um, they're a local business and their customer is local only, like a dog trainer. And say she's making a dog training video. How do I know that my video will show in front of a person that's local to her? 
So in other words, can she set parameters on who sees the video or a, uh, a geo-targeting? Oh yeah, well, um, you can also include details like where you're located in some of the details of your um, like description as well, um, because YouTube does pick that up. Um, but as far as selecting videos, you do have to create a business account in order to that. I'm not sure if you can actually only, I'm not sure the level of which you can like try to target those. I know that you can try to target specific groups um, to watch your video, but I'm not sure that the level of which you can. So I'm actually going to write that down so that I can get back to you on it because I'm not sure how deep down you can go on that. Okay. And then the other question, which uh, we've got a couple of them, but I believe that I've, I can <laughs> answer this. Um, can you just upload video from your phone? Yes, you the, can. Yes. Right. Yes, you can. It is very mobile friendly. Okay. Thank you. Any others? I thought, or did we have others? No, that's all at this time. Okay. All right. Good questions. All right. So um, at the end of this, there are a couple more things that you can do. So you can add a couple of video elements if you want called end screens and cards. Um, the first one in end screen is an image that you can add at the end of your video that pops up on the screen. So for example, you might want to use your logo and your contact information. That would be a great end screen to have right after you just told them about a service or a product that you sell. That would be a good end screen. Um, you can also add something called cards. That's the second one. Um, cards are little graphics or promos that pop up on the screen during points in the video. An example might be a promo that says shop here or check out this product or check out my most recent video. Those are um, a little more advanced. So maybe start with end screens first um, and then move on to cards. Now, lastly, uh, you want to set the visibility, which can be public, which means anyone can view it. Or you can set it as an unlisted video, which means you can only watch the video if the link to the video was shared with you. A link to an unlisted video can be sent to and viewed by someone who does not have a Google account. Now, the third type is private, which means that you that only you and people you choose to send it to that have Google accounts can see the video. The one you'll probably use the most is going to be the public one though. Another thing you can do is you can actually schedule the post or um, schedule it at a later specific date or time, um, or you can just post it now. It'll ask you which one that you wanna do. Um, now that's basically how you post and all the details that it will ask you when you're wanting to post a video. Now I did mention YouTube live streaming. Um, YouTube live streaming is a little more advanced, um, but I did want to give you those instructions on how to walk through it at your own pace if you do want to do this. Um, like I said, it's a little more advanced. Um, but uh, if you do want to do this, here are the step by step instructions on how to do it. In order to do this, you do have to enable your account to do it. Um, these instructions show you how to enable your account to do it. Um, one caveat with this also is that in order to live stream with your mobile phone, you actually have to have at least a thousand subscribers. Part of the reason they do this is um, they don't want too many people essentially live streaming from phones um, for their for their bandwidth, it's a little hard for them to do that. And so that's part of the reason why. Now, if you wanna do YouTube live streaming, like I said, you can do this on your own time and walk through it um, if you're interested in that. Um, if you do choose to do live streaming, um, you will most likely do this through your desktop. Like I said, mobile phones is a little more complicated. Um, here are the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this if you're interested. 
um, how it works is you'll essentially create a link for the YouTube Live, and you can publish this on your website or a social media account or send it in an email to people. So you send that link out or you post that link and you schedule that video for whenever you want the live video to be. So say you schedule it for six and send out the link and it will go live at six, but not until six. So if someone clicks that link, nothing will happen until when you have it set for. So you log in, you do the video. After you have ended the video, it will automatically download to your profile and you can choose what you'd like to do with it. So maybe you want to put it in um, one of your other playlists as a normal video. You can do that. Um, and so that's essentially how the live streaming works. Now, last but not least, you want to make sure with YouTube that you're checking your analytics because it's important to see how you're doing on YouTube. You wanna see and you wanna make sure that you're putting things out there that people are engaging with um, and see what they're liking and what they're commenting on and what they're engaging with. You can see how many people are viewing your channel, viewing your videos, how many people are commenting on them. Um, you can see demographics of what your audience looks like. Um, so you can view that as well. Um, these details can help you to better identify and define your target market as well as help you engage with your target market better and choose content they like. This brings me to that question someone asked earlier about, you know, can you try to target your video to certain demographics or maybe certain areas that people like live? Um, that part, I'm not sure if that is a free thing that you can do with your business channel or not. So I will still get back to that, but you still can use analytics to see who's viewing your website, where they're viewing your website from. You can still do that. Now, something that I wanna highlight with YouTube as well as any other social media account that you create for your business is that it's important to have a defined plan, right? Um, this will help you to not waste time and get more out of your efforts. Just like any business strategy, you want to make sure to have a written out plan. Um, without it, you don't really have a clear goal. Um, and that means there's no way to measure your results. So take the time to create a social media plan right up front. Um, this helps to ensure that your efforts sus will support specific business goals. So for example, maybe you sell local honey and your business objective is to create awareness of all the uses for honey, like making, sip, making soap, lip balms, various recipes. There's multiple uses with the honey that you sell. And this is an objective or a goal in an attempt to sell more honey by spreading awareness about the different ways you can use honey. So maybe with YouTube, your goal is to showcase how showcase how to videos on how to make various items with honey. And your goal is to have a certain number of people watch it and a certain number of people engage with it, and then a certain number buy your honey. So this is all based off of a business objective and a plan that you've written out with specific goals in place. Then you can go back and you can look, did I meet these goals? If I make changes to these videos or if I post more recipe videos versus how to make soap videos, do I make more money with one of those? Am I getting more engagement with one of those? So setting that plan early on really helps in setting those business objectives with goals based on those objectives can really help to you to be more successful. Um, some other ways to help can be to research the competition. There's nothing wrong with looking at other people's YouTube pages in your same industry to get ideas. That's a great way to help with getting more ideas for videos and getting more inspiration. Um, also creating a uh, plan in terms of calendar, having a calendar so that you post regularly and don't post once and then post two weeks later, 
then post three times in a row, then post four weeks later, being consistent um, can be um, helped by having a calendar in place. And then YouTube, like I've mentioned before, has a list of many resources that can help. I've already gone over some of these or most of these, but the, here is a, le a list with hyperlinks to each one. Now, for the sheer number of social media marketing options for small businesses that are out there, that might seem a little overwhelming. You don't have to be on every social media channel that's out there. It's more important to create quality content um, rather than being on every single channel and posting the same thing on every single channel. You don't have to do it all and you don't really need to. Um, you really want to focus on where your customers are now, where looking at your demographics, looking at your target market, where are your customers currently spending their time? What are the most popular channels they're on? And then focusing on those one or two or three channels until you get really good at those and then determine, should I try others? Um, but you first want to look at where is your customer, then get on those, do what you can to make good posts and focus on those first, and then you can expand. And above all, you want to focus on quality over quantity. You really want to make sure that you're not just, you know, selling all the time, but that you're really focusing on creating quality content that people come to your channel to look at, not just sales videos all the time. Now for YouTube, here's just a few specific things for YouTube to keep in mind. You want your videos to be, um, to share a clear and concise message. People lose interest really easily. And if your message is not clear and concise um, and doesn't get to the point early on in that video, people will likely leave. Um, also, you wanna make a compelling call to action in the video that calls the user to visit your site or contact you or check out the product that you're selling online to give them that next step of what to do. Um, you can make this um, timely by stating this product is only available for a certain amount of time as well. That's another good example of a call to action. Um, also remember you can use um, these videos on YouTube and other places like um, maybe your other social media platforms. You can post them to Facebook or post them to Instagram um, or post them on the blog of your website. So you can take these videos you've used on LinkedIn and post them in other places, which is a another unique benefit of YouTube. So some FAQs, how do I get more followers? How do I increase my following? Um, well, make sure you fill everything out appropriately. Like when you go in and you make your profile, fill it all out well, um, create good content. content. Like I said, don't constantly just be selling, but also create quality content that creates a community that people wanna come back to. Um, be consistent, have that schedule, um, get others to interact and share on your profile too and comment and try to engage users. Maybe ask whoever um, gives the answer to the question I ask in this video will be entered for a drawing. Easy way to get some more engagement. Um, for recommendations, you know, like I said, again, post content people want, don't just be selling. You kind of want to follow an 80-20 rule where 80% 80 of the time you're posting content that's engaging, exciting, and only 20% is actually selling. So some next steps on YouTube um, are just really working on making your content better by looking at space, lighting and sound and trying to improve on those three things. You wanna try to make sure your space is free of clutter. Try to think what's visually appealing. Um, try to share your logo where you can. Um, for lighting, make sure to try using like natural light where you can, face the video. Um, try to avoid shadowing. Um, and for sound, um, a mic can really help. Um, practicing your videos also is a great idea so that you sound 
more confident in your presentation and you're more concise and to the point. Um, for also for next steps, if you want to get into YouTube apps or YouTube ads, there is a link here on the on this slide as well. Um, you can also get into YouTube Creator Academy. And like I mentioned earlier, Creator Academy is a free page in YouTube that offers lots of free training and resources to help you learn video editing. Now, as we start to close out, um, we will have time for questions. Um, there is gonna be a link in here for a survey, so please fill that out. Um, we do offer these services free. Um, and so we wanna continue to get um, your feedback so that we can make them better, so that we can better help small business owners. So please do feel free to fill out that survey. Um, I want to remind you that we are a center of excellence on digital transformation. And if you have any other questions about digital services or any of um, the things I mentioned earlier with digital marketing, social media, SEO, please reach out to us. We'd be happy to get you connected with a consultant. Um, if you want to attend other training events, this um, here, I'll give you a moment if you want to scan the QR code to look up some of our upcoming training events. So you can just hover your camera over the QR code to find the link for upcoming events. You can also visit our website as well. And then here is our contact info. Um, it is time for Q&A, but I'll leave it on this slide so that you can contact, you can get the contact info if you need. Um, do we have any questions? Janice, did you happen to see any? No, we don't at this time. And also, like I said, this is a basics webinar. So we go through a lot of the basics, but if you do have some more in-depth questions about that are specific to your industry or your business, a great way to do that is to contact us and we can do, um, you know, like a social media audit. We can talk with you about just YouTube specifically. We can help you with your website. There's a list of different ways that we can help too. So if you have some more specific questions that are past the basics, please reach out to us. We'd be happy to help. Uh, Cassie, we do have one that I believe you offered, you answered in the presentation. So they would like advice for the best resolution for live interviewing. Um, it says Zoom is, lo is low resolution. When you do, YouTube Live, can you invite others or need a stream from a separate software platform? You can invite others. All you have to do is share the link. So once you've created the link on YouTube, you can email that out. You can share it on your social media. You can share it on your website. Um, and so there are multiple ways to share it that way, just from sharing that link from YouTube. Uh, and we have a, a couple other questions that really deal with taking your YouTube videos and shortening them for platforms such as Facebook or yeah. LinkedIn. And that's typically where they want to edit. So it's uh, much smaller, such as 90 seconds, correct? Yeah. yeah, exactly. And that's a good point because on some of those platforms, people really watch the shorter videos. They don't watch like the 10 minute long videos, right? So that's good to know that those do have shorter times. Um, and I do wanna show you one thing, um, YouTube Shorts is very popular. Now you can shorten your videos using, I believe Creator Academy shows you like details on how to do video editing, but you do wanna edit down some of your videos for like Facebook or LinkedIn, those platforms, you don't really want to have like a 20 minute video probably. Um, and you can also utilize, if you're not just doing the YouTube channel video, which you still can use, um, you can also utilize YouTube shorts, which this is the link. I just want to go back to this slide. This is the link to access this. And this is actually a very thorough video from um, this gentleman who talks about YouTube shorts 
how to utilize them, how to make them. And it's a really great um, resource if you're interested in that. I would highly recommend watching that. And I'll go back to that QR code. Someone had asked about that. And then I'll go back to our contact info. So here's the QR code for upcoming events. You can also see our, on, our, on our page as well, which is listed here. So you can also go to the website and then here's our email so you can get connected with, um, you know, requesting some digital marketing help um, or social media help. You can contact us there. Um, okay. Um, we are fine behind time, but I, Janice, I don't know, do we still have uh, other questions that need to be answered? I think for now, I do recommend that if some of your questions weren't answered, that you reach out to us for free one-on-one -on -one consulting. And um, there was one that was from Diane. I saw how to upload from your phone. You can upload videos that are saved on your phone. And actually there is a good video on YouTube on how to upload a video from your phone. So if you just type in how to upload a video from to YouTube from your phone, there is one there for you. And that'll walk you through how to do it as well. Okay, um, before we wrap it up for the day, I just want to use this opportunity to thank each and every one of you guys for giving it a day with us. Uh, Cassie and Janice, thank you for a wonderful presentation. Um, and also to my wonderful uh, SPDC colleague, thank you guys for your usual cooperation and support. Without you guys, we wouldn't have been here and Web and I wouldn't have come into existence. Uh, without any other question, on ground or at hand, Cassie. Thank you for a wonderful presentation. And to everyone, do enjoy the rest of the day. Bye bye. And uh, Diane, there's um, how to find analytics right here. It'll be on the left side of your screen. Sorry, just saw that question. Okay. okay. I think that's everything, but that's good. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.